In a year when police officers have faced a lot of criticism, these officers came to the rescue. Please hurry! Please hurry! When police in Florida responded to a possible drowning situation, it seemed like it was too late. The three-year-old girl pulled from the backyard pool, looked blue, and she wasn't breathing. No! Pensacola police officers worked together to try to revive the child. One pats her on the back while the other prepares a defibrillator. Then they see signs of life. She's, mo Come. she's moving. Tell him we got a pulse. 185, we got a pulse. Come on. But the job wasn't done. They still had to try to get the water out of her lungs. Oh, okay, baby. Go. Okay. Come on. okay. Breathe for me. Breathe for me. Come on, baby. The officers worked on the child until an ambulance could come take her to a hospital. But police say the child has made a full recovery. Hey, what's going on with the baby? A Michigan family called for help after their three-week-old baby stopped breathing. The infant was choking, and Officer Cameron Masajewski arrived just in time. He started performing back blows as the child's mother was panicking. Yes, there you go. Okay. He's crying. He's crying. Okay. He's crying. Hey, it's okay. He's crying. When the baby started crying, they knew everything was going to be all right. Despite the chaotic scene, this cop kept his cool. I, I attribute all that to all the training that I've received. If I start freaking out or if I can't handle myself or maintain my cool, then that just escalates everything for the family. Is anybody in there? Who's in there? Who's in there? When a police officer came upon an overturned car on fire with the driver inside, he knew he had to act quickly. Officer Feng Lai's body camera captured the whole scary encounter in Davis, California. Come out this way, ma'am. Ma'am, come out this way. When he sees the woman, he calls for her to get out. Get out right now. Hurry. Get out. When Lai was able to get a hold of her, he grabbed the woman by her wrists and dragged her to safety. No one was seriously injured. Body cameras show how officers saved a man from a burning house in California. It gets super bad, super bad. When they arrived on scene in Grass Valley, cops were told a person was trapped inside and the fire was spreading. Officers started calling out to the man from the outside. Police department, anyone in here? Glory! But no response. The smoke was too thick inside for cops to see anything. An officer decided to go around to another door of the house. Corey! He heard nothing, but this time he saw something. Corey! I found him! Okay. Go get the medics! The man was unconscious because of smoke exposure. He was treated at a local hospital and recovered. You have a jack? When cops in Mesa, Arizona responded to help a man trapped under his car, they knew time was of the essence. Devin Haycock says the jack collapsed while he was fixing his wife's car in their driveway. The car is sitting there crushing my chest. I had just enough room to get small little breaths. Without a jack, the officers used all of their force to lift the car up just enough so Devin could roll out from under it. It was the first time for both of us to be in anything like that, so we just knew we had to act fast and, and basically solve this problem. Pull him out! Their effort paid off and Devin was able to escape, and his wife set a new ground rule. I told him he's not allowed to get underneath the car ever again. <laughs> never, never again. I'll be out with the mail stack on the tracks trying to get him out. Go on, can you get up? A police officer in California had only seconds to save a man from an oncoming train after his wheelchair got stuck in the tracks. Body cam from Lodi police officer Erica Orea shows her arriving at the scene and running from her patrol car. She asks him if he can get up. But with the train approaching fast, get up, get up, get up, get up. the officer pulled him from the wheelchair out of the train's path. They both fell to the ground just as the train came barreling through. They were both safe, but she called for an ambulance to treat the man for minor leg injuries. This is Inside Edition Digital.